I want to continue with the topic, the power of his might, part two. The power of his might, part two. I want to say that, uh, let me give a note first. I did not say that we must not pray. Let me tell you, the Bible says in Luke 18 verse 1, you pray, you pray, you pray, you pray, my friend. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Those are among the things that God has empowered you to do so that you start seeing God in your life. What I needed you to learn is that we could be having a wrong, a wrong prognosis to a disease. Ukikikuwa mgonjwa malaria, ukiwana kama ujapua zile tablets, tatu za kumeza once, then unajuyo daktari ya nakupe dawa ya headache ama kitu kama hiyo. And we are saying as Christians, we need to find out now. Sasa tukona hii disease. What is the cure to the disease of Christians? Bwana sifuwe sana. What is the cure? And today I want you to make sure that you ask the Lord to remove everything you have been having in your mind. Ile hote umefundisho huko. Hata mimi ile nilifundisho PC ye nilitoa. Kasa mamungu anza na mimi tena. I said Holy Spirit teach me. Holy Spirit train me. Holy Spirit start with me. And Christians we must stop being consumers of everything. Tukiona mutu anakuja hapa. Hata mimi niliwambia I'm writing a book. Na wila mutu ameni delay ni mini start kwa hapa. Mimi nisha maliza kitabu. Lakini kuna mutu mimi siangali pande yake. Lakini kuna mutu ana kutaipi mekua shida. Mwana sifuwe sana. Hiyo kitabu itakuambia vile tulienda in search of the power of God. Si tulitafuta. Hata sasa nili, the name must be in search of the power of God. Unajua ukienda pali, sinuenda kutafuta nguvu. Yeah, tulikuwa, tuna, hata huko shiraini ya subuke tumeenda. Mwana sifuwe sana. Eh, tumeenda. Eh, kuna pali kungina tulienda. Tukaanza kuambia we shall die. Tulijificha kwa cho. We to sit and we fitted in the toilet. You are joking with Christians. We are told you will die. You said, I see. We come to the presence of God to die. We hid in a toilet. And from that time, we, went, we never went again. What I sana, don't agree to be consumers of anything, everything. Mutu akija hapa anza kuambia, as you, at least you, nakufa. Mwambia, I'm not dying. What I swear sana, don't take some things that even as we are telling you, don't agree to die. Uh, Luke 24 verse 45. Luke 24 verse 25. This is what I want us to pray first. The Bible says, this is Jesus talking to his disciples. This is the last chapter of Luke. Eh? Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. This is Jesus who was praying for his disciples to understand scriptures. Remember I told you last week about you, you, do not have, you do not understand scriptures and you do not understand the power of God. It is God, Jesus Christ who was saying those words. And here he is, that was Matthew 22, 29. Matthew 22, 29. And this one here, the Bible says that Jesus told them, he opened, let, let's first of all go to, to Luke 24 again. Luke 24. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand scriptures. I want you just try not to close your eyes and I want you to ask Lord help me to understand scriptures. I want you to say that. Help me to understand scriptures. Help me to understand scriptures. Because it means there is something we are not understanding about scriptures. There is something we are not understanding. That's why Jesus was telling them. Then he opened opened he their understanding. He opened their understanding that they might understand scriptures. Matthew 22, 29, which I gave you last week also. Jesus replied, your mistake is that you don't know the scriptures and you don't know the power of God. Then Jesus was praying for them when he was just about to go back and say, he prayed, he prayed for them that they would understand scriptures. I pray that this ministry, we shall understand two things, scriptures and the power of God. Scriptures and the power of God. That we shall understand what? And what else? Yes. That is what is going to sustain you. Psalms 62 and verse, 12, verse 11. The topic is still the power of God, part 2. God hath spoken, twice have I heard that power belongs to God. All this power we are talking about, you are the carrier, but it has an owner. And the owner is God. The owner is God. 
Luke 24, 44 to 49, Amplified Version. I hope you got it. Amplified Version. Is that Amplified? Thank you very much. Then he said to them, This is what I told you while I was still with you. Everything which is written concerning me in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he thoroughly opened up their minds to understand the scriptures. This is just another version of the verse I gave you. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ, the Messiah, should suffer and on the third day rise from among the dead. And that repentance with a view to and as the condition of forgiveness of sins should be preached in his name to all nations beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. Then he says, And behold, I will send forth upon you what my father has promised, but remain in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. With power from on high. Now, the difference is they waited for the Holy Spirit to come upon them in Acts 1 and verse 8. They waited for the Holy Spirit to come upon them so that they could receive power. The difference is you, who is a believer, after you believe, you are supposed to be clothed with the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, then you have power. What does your son? I want to wangalia jirani. Umambia, he is, she's talking about you. Ken ambi mutu. Ken, ambi husband. Eh? Yes, mwambie. He's talking about you. Yes, good. Sindio, lazima tukue na neighbors, eh? Mkue na neighbor akwambia, he's talking about you. Bwana asifiwe sana. So the power that was that they were waiting for is with us daily. Is with us daily. Something that I checked this 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 when I was studying about uh, power. I saw that one time the Bible says that Jesus had the power to heal. That power came upon him at that time, and I thought, wow. You know, you have to understand the dispensation of where you are now. So Jesus, when he came, he was under the law. The Holy Spirit used to be given to them to either prophesy or to heal. So he was not available at all times. So at that time, the Bible says that the power was present for Jesus to heal. And I thought, I saw, I thought Jesus was God, you know. But it's because at that time the Holy Spirit was being manifested for a particular item, for a particular task. But today, today, if somebody is sick, you don't have to keep looking up. The power is within you. The power is where? Is within you. The power is within you. Acts 1 8. But you shall receive power. This was now what the disciples were being told. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and unto the uttermost parts of the earth. I want to tell you today, I'll make sure I tell you about what the power is supposed to do in your life. I said last week, a powerless Christian represents God and represents the church of Jesus Christ so wrongly. And sometimes, I don't know if it's our fault, I don't know if it is the conditioning. When I was in school, there was something we were taught called conditioning. Conditioning means when the children are born, a boy is given blue, and another one is being given what? Pink. This is a boy, and this one is a girl. But here nowadays, we are genderless. Better, Sasa, you are genderless. agenda. Atimutu, they can be he, she. He, she. They, they, he, they, they are now there, eh? Gloria eh? That's where we are going. Now we are no longer on blue and pink. We are going to he, she. That nowadays, the, so I can wake up today and say, I'm a man. Praise Jesus. Mimi ni jamaa. What has fair sana? That's where to meanda. To meanda kufika hapa. Mujue Yesu, Jesus is coming soon. You cannot the dramas may even get dunia know that Jesus is coming very soon. Jesus is coming. So we are conditioned. Some of us are conditioned by where we went to church first. Since to lend a PC, to kajua mamba ya confirmation, not an equal mess out. You went for classes, kakua confirmed, then you could not take Holy Communion until you are a particular age. Then after a particular age, you have to become a woman's guild. I know my mother aliniambia ni kwe woman's guild. But me ni kambia mimi iki to miss shiki. So, kitambo tu, where to kwe to everybody's woman's guild. Wana sifuye sana, except me. I understand. And then when I came, I was already a rebel. Because when I arrived in Nairobi, I was already a PCA. 
Mimi nilikuwa napenda pali kuna joto. Bwana asifiwe sana. Siku anajua ni Mungu alikuwa ananipeleka hivi ndio kuniorganize nikuwe pastor. So when you are ukiwa ukiwa a particular age unakuwa women's guild automatic whether you are saved me i don't even think that that's in uh, our church at least i know our local church it is not a, it was not a parameter ya kuokoka lakini miaka ikifika hapo unaanza kuambiwa lazima ufungwe nini kitambaa ya women's guild conditioning it's called conditioning conditioning so even us as christians there are things we have been conditioned and we must get out of them that's why i told you the first prayer was lord teach me scripture Lord teach me scripture. Ndio nitoke kwa ile nilifundi, nilifundishwa. My mind must be wiped out so that the Holy Spirit can teach me scripture. So that the Holy Spirit can teach me scripture. God's power. God's power is revealed as a consuming fire. God's power is revealed as a consuming fire. Deuteronomy 4:23 to 24 God is still a consuming fire When you see things like covid remember God has not changed he is still a consuming fire So be careful not to break the covenant the Lord your God has made with you Do not make idols of any shape or form for the Lord your God has forbidden this 24 The Lord your God is a devouring fire. He is a jealous God. Hebrews 12:28 to 29. Hebrews 12:28 to 29. God's power is revealed as a consuming fire. Hebrews 12:28 to 29. Since we are receiving a kingdom that is unshakable, let us be thankful and please God by worshiping him with holy fear and oh for our god is a devouring fire bwana spesa so this power you are receiving it has assignments this power that is within you si ya kufanya magic bwana spesa sana kuna zile vitu inafaa kufanya god's power is revealed as a consuming fire Genesis 19:24 to 25 God's power is revealed as a consuming fire. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. God's power is a consuming fire. The Bible says and he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the city and that which grew upon the ground. Basically licked everything. Isn't that where we are today? Bwana asifiwe sana. Si we are people who are grace. Si we are people who are grace. Eh? Yeah, we are what we are grace. Eh? Why is covid sweeping us like this? Bwana asifiwe sana because God's character does not change. God is still a consuming fire. You want to try, to try him, he go consume you, my dear. So be careful and remember that God's power is a consuming fire. Psalms 18:8 God's power is a consuming fire. Psalms 18 and verse 8 Then went up smoke, a smoke out of his nostrils and fire out of his mouth, devoured coals were kindled by it. That's the nature of God. Don't play with God. You need to come to God with awe and fear and humility and respect. That's who God is. Good God is. God's power of sustenance was revealed when the children of Israel walked in the wilderness for 40 years. Their clothes did not wear out. Their shoes were not torn. Bwana asifiwe sana. Unajua hata unaweza anza kuombea tu nguo zako zianze kuwa renewed. Bwana asifiwe. Sio lazima ununue mpya. Amen. That power is within you. Anza kuombea tu kiatu ianze kungara tena. When you meet with a neighbor akuulize kama ni mpya. Nambia yes renewed by Jesus. Hallelujah. Si budget vitu ni ngumu. Yes, you have the power within you to renew things. Ati naona Diana anamuuliza anambia this dress ni kama miaka 20 naambia asi. So that it's renewed. Amen. You have the power to renew yourself and renew your things. Hallelujah. When you meet somebody anakuuliza unajipaka nini? Na sasa umeenda kwa Aramis. Ulikuwa unajipaka fair and lovely. 
lakini mambo imeenda ngumu kidogo so ukijipaka unasema god the same glory let it be upon me hallelujah use your mouth so that somebody will not start singing umeanza kuona umeanza kuchakaa chakaa kidogo lazima ai na huyu god huyu singe alienda wapi the power is within you ask for revelation ask for wisdom ask the lord father nikienda nje hata kama hata kama kamikap kangu kaliisha jehovah god let them not know let them ask me what happened today what are you applying today what as we are saying god's power is available for you to sustain you even during this season god is going to sustain his own God is going to sustain you. I repeat, God is going to sustain you. Hallelujah. And this is the time you'll grow fat. Bwana sifa sana. I know that's not a good prophecy. Hallelujah. Lakini this is the time utanona watu washindwe. Lakini ulikuwa unasema una job. Niaje, niaje bado unakaa kunona. Eh, si ndio? So this is the time the glory of the Lord shall be so powerfully upon you that people will start asking how It cannot be at this time the season ya ukame ndio unaanza kuonekana hata una meta meta. Bwana asifiwe. Even those who are not married, this is the time. This is the time. Huyu jamaa ataanza kukurecognize na kukuidentify. Bwana asifiwe sana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Watu wasema amen ndio niendelee. Haleluya. Eh kuna watu wataka kusema amen lakini this is the time. This is the time to be identified. Haleluya. This is the time utaoneka utaonekana. Bwana asifiwe sana. Yes, this time These times as you know kuna ukame kuna shida because God's power of sustenance was there with the Israelites for 40 years. Are you telling me they did not grow slim and fat? They wore one item. They wore one pair of shoes for 40 years. For 40 years. God's power is available. Psalms 37:25, the same point. Psalms 37. This one you should know. God's power of sustenance is available for you. Once I was young and now I am old, yet, hallelujah, yet have I never seen the godly abandoned or their children begging for bread. We are not going to beg for no bread. Bwana asifiwe sana. Whether there are fifth the levels of covid, I even forgot to follow now. I no longer know where we are. I think tumeambiwa kuna nyingine inakuja. And I keep saying these guys are just trying to make news. This thing we chased away, we chased it away. Bwana asifiwe sana. Si ndio? But you have the power to chase it away. You have the power you have the power to declare that in your environment you're not going to meet with this monster. Bwana asifiwe sana. I have been young and now I am old. I have never seen the righteous forsaken nor their children beg for bread. That is your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, you are not going to beg. Yeah, every time you think about begging just go back to that point and say lord your scriptures i told you that we are asking god to open our understanding of scriptures bwana asifiwe sana so let me give you a testimony one time many years ago shida ikakuwa mingi unajua hata mkiniona hivi kuna wakati kulikuwa na shida bwana asifiwe sana na mimi nikakuwa mtu wa dunia si hata nyinyi mkiwa na shida mnaenda kwa kiriwa ni gani ile walikuwa nakupigia simu ile deni uko nayo bwana asifiwe sana wani cash cash kanaitwa jeko hapana kuna nyingine ile ulikopa na huku lipa bwana asifiwe sana sasa we must make sure you be paying unajua when she doesn't pay me napigua simu na eh hey, hey, hizo siju o cash siju gani siju tala cash siju what cash ziko mingi siku hizi when you don't pay me napigua simu excuse me do you know this person yes what is everything okay oh yes akona deni yetu asi I do not know the person. I I th- say you alipeana jina yako. Nasema hey Jehovah. Bwana asifiwe sana. So in one of those times ya ukame, hakukuwa na hiyo eh, mshwari that time. So tulikuwa sasa shida ikiwa kubwa unaenda kwa relative. Bwana asifiwe sana. Mimi nikaenda kwa relative hata mzee alijua this year. Alistuka sana. Nikaenda kwa relative. Nikamwambia aki watoto wanafukuzwa shule. Akanembea hata mimi ile shida niko nayo. Na sasa hizo mimi najua huyu mtu ana shida. Sinajua kuna mtu mwingine unaombaka pesa na unajua ana shida na anakataa kukupatia. Mimi nikajua tu alikataa kunipatia huyo mtu. Alikataa na sikuwa nataka mingi. When I went home, bwana asifiwe sana. When I arrived home, a friend of mine with a prophet came to our home. And the first prayer, the first thing she told me, where had you gone to borrow money? I said, I see. Aliniambia, miguu hizo zako zisiwai rudi tena. Do not go back there to embarrass your God. Let me tell you. And I am saying this with all humility. Our children have gone through schools. They have gone through outside schools and the Lord has made sure that we have not been embarrassed 
and you have not been ashamed aliniambia who told you to go na sio mtu nimeambia aliniambia usirudishe hizo miguu zako tena do not embarrass god bwana asifiwe sana so i knew, i wish i had known the, the scriptures nilimwambia this year unajua karibu aanguke mbaya kuna siku nilienda kwa so and so kukopa pesa na huyo mtu wako nipatia tandururu hata chai yako ninunulia haki tu ni sawa tu it is all right i forgive the person bwana asifiwe at least mtu akija kukukopa kama una kitu umnunulie nini chai. yes cause pengine hata that day hajakunywa chai by the time anakuja kukopa si things are very things are relevant si ndio haya once i was young and now i am old yet have i never seen the rashes for second know their children beg for bread so we are not going to beg for bread bwana asifiwe sana the lord shall make sure we shall have more than enough bwana asifiwe sana because his power is the power of sustenance the power of sustenance god's power resurrects i am praying for resurrection power over your life over your business over your marriages i am praying for resurrection power resurrection power first corinthians 15 and verse 4 god's power is able to resurrect and i'm telling you mimi i want to give you a testimony in advance mimi nita graduate bwana asifiwe sana hiyo nasema nita graduate by fire by thunder they did not start kujua but lakini lazima ni graduate bwana asifiwe sana yes because of this word god's power resurrects so if there have ideas in your mind that zili dead This is the time for those ideas to arise. Bwana asifiwe sana. Ulienda ukafungua kibanda ya smoky ikadedi. Ukafungua ya mtumba ikadedi. Today go back. Bwana asifiwe sana. I am saying that with the anointing and the authority of the most high God. Go back and restart. Bwana asifiwe sana. Here it says that and that he was buried and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. So go back and restart. Urudi uanze. Mimi unajua one time nilikuwa farmer. Bwana asifiwe sana. I told you the reason God alinipatia many many stories. Alijua one time I'll be preacher man. Bwana asifiwe sana. Mimi ni one time tulitengene mimi unajua I love farming. Lakini it has been a wedding but now it's resurrected in Jesus name. Saa hizi it is resurrected. Tulitengeneza mahindi huko kitale. Tukaenda tukahaya farm na tukaanza. Lakini wa Kenya may God just bless you. Me I know that in tukienda heaven mimi nataka nikikutana na uh, Saint Peter nimwambie kwanza mimi anipatie wa Kenya niwasaidie because sasa sisi tumetengeneza huko several acres of land tumetengeneza mahindi tumepatia ka, watu kazi wacha ikuta wa, ukuje wakati wa kuvuna unapata katikati ya shamba hakuna mahindi Bwana asifiwe sana wa Kenya wanapitia katikati yao Kenyans God is seeing you hiyo kitu ni tunienda tukavuna tukatoka na tukurudi But now resurrection power is available. Nobody is going to touch your maze. Bwana asifiwe sana. Yes, we don't have to go to Kitui. We are going to make sure mtu akiguza mahindi yako tunampata hapo asubuhi. Using the power of the most high God. Amen. Yes. Because we are not going to we are no it is not going to be business as usual. Na nimesema atuendi Kitui. The power of God is within us. Available for us. Amen. So whatever it is that is dead in your life, if you ever had an idea, a business idea, an idea of something you can do, go and resurrect it today. Use this scripture that God God's power was available to resurrect Jesus Christ. After how many days in the grave? 3 days. Philippians 3 and verse 10. Philippians 3 and verse 10. God's power is available to resurrect that I may know him and the power of his resurrection god resurrects god resurrects that i may know him and the power of his resurrection and continues to say and the fellowship of his sufferings be made comfortable unto his death it means whatever you're going through god will be with you god will walk with you that i may know him and the power of his resurrection god is going to resurrect receive that resurrection power in the name of Jesus Christ God's power is available to heal do not collect diseases from your mothers and your fathers praise Jesus i repeat do not collect diseases refuse the power is within you to refuse refuse 
refuse useme mimi sitagonjeka mambo ya blood pressure unaambia watu wenu wako na blood pressure sasa si watu wangu ni Jesus Christ ulisikia kama Jesus alikuwa na blood pressure bwana asifiwe sana ulisikia wapi Jesus alianza kusema na na mgongo praise Jesus if you are in the lineage of Jesus Christ there are things we might just refuse na niliwaambia kuna vitu zingine i don't pray about i just refuse na sema no bwana asifiwe sana mimi my blood pressure ngoja niwaambieni inakuwa blood pressure ya mtoto when i go to the hospital they always even ask me helen how can you have a blood pressure of 100 over 8 naambia mimi i have been praying for the spirit of longevity haraba shata i refuse to age i refuse to grow old ngoja mtaniona 10 years nitakuwa tu nikiwa hivi see you are taping this thing mtaniona tu nikiwa hapa yes because me i take scriptures the way they are The scriptures say what? What does the scripture say about you, yeah, youngness and Aha, uh, uh, uh-huh. he renews you. Aha. Shakara baza. Eh, mnamsikia? He renews you. He renews you. Sasa, kwa nini mnakubali mnaanza kuambiwa na watu ati msijui lazima mfike hapa mwanze kuingia menopause who said? Bwana asifiwe. Nani alisema? Praise Jesus. I, 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 you, you want us to test? Let us test. Let us test. I want you to get your books out. Namwangalie kwa Bible kitu inaitwa menopause. Then why would you start collecting things that are not in scriptures? I told you the first word we said is what? That I may understand. Hiyo story wanakuambia ati ati Sarah ati was menopause. Where? Wrong teaching. What is fair sana? Wrong what? Yes. Hakuna kitu kama hiyo kwa Bible. So if you want to collect the things of the world wewe ni sir mimi i am I'm asking gravity bwana asifiwe sana unajua i must preach this gospel sasa kama naenda nikisema nikienda kwa airport nasema nauma na mgongo who is going to accept me niende kwa madhabahu <laughs> bwana asifiwe sana who is going to allow you so you have an assignment uko na kazi so you have got the bible says let me go there moses at the age of 100 and something was he 100 He died at 100. He died around 20. The Bible says his eyes did not grow dim. And he walked with a spring. Bwana asifiwe sana. Now if you don't understand Bible, mimi si shida yangu. Ukitaka tu kuchukua menopause, collect hata yangu. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes, it's not in the Bible, so I'm not going to collect it. Mimi sasa kujua mambo ya science. Science is secondary to God. God is the the one who says. Akishasema amenibariki. Mimi hata sitaki kujua. Akishasema mimi sitaki kujua. Bwana asifiwe sana. Sasa hizi nikitaka kuzaa watoto wengine, I can decide. Bwana asifiwe sana. Yes. It's only that now I want grandchildren. Bwana asifiwe sana. Sasa sasa tumekubali tu tumekubali tu na Pastor Karu tu. Sio kuambiwa na ati ya doctor akwambia ati hii miaka imeenda imeenda wapi? Miaka inaenda wapi? Bwana asifiwe sana. Hii miaka inaenda wapi Gloria? Don't be cheated by anybody. You are a child of the most high God and your authority is scriptures. Bwana asifiwe sana. So do not collect. I told you I started by telling you you are consumers. You consume from science. Inakwambia sijui ifanye hivi, inafanya hivi what? Science is not going to manage me. Science is not going to control me. The most high God who is in me is the one who is going to control me he is one who is going to lead me he is one who is going to guide me niwaambia i'll be with a spring at 100 years bwana asifiwe sana kuna mtu alikuja akaniambia kwa nini umejenga nyumba iko downstairs na upstairs nikamwambia because at 100 i'll still be walking upstairs bwana asifiwe sana yes and i have a testimony of a lady in leona america she was called miss fay she was 8 years old alikuwa na his her, her, her bedroom was upstairs and i come to kenya and in africa ndio mnaanza kuambiwa jenga bungalow ni jenge nani Bwana asifiwe sana. Who are you building for a bungalow? Do not agree to collect to collect the conditioning I told you. It is earthly conditioning. Yet you are the children of the most high God. You are the children of the most high God. Bwana asifiwe sana. So tafadhali nimewaambia wewe collect ile unata. Maxi have advised you. You collect the one you are collecting. Mimi and Pastor Karl ni kuamua tumeamua. Bwana asifiwe sana. Yes. Sasa is go no tell us no th- nothing. Bwana asifiwe sana. Kuna kitu kama hiyo. God's power heals all diseases. All diseases are subject to God. All diseases are subject to God's power. One time I am walking and I grew up having tonsillitis. 
when I was very young, I started having tonsillitis. And one of those th fine days, I'm, I'm standing, actually, I'm coming from the office very sickly, and I met a friend of mine. She told me, where are you going? I said, I have to go to the hospital. You know, when you start having tonsillitis, you can barely talk, so I'm doing her like this. I'm really sick. I have, I have, I have, I have, you know, these tonsils of mine, Zimerudi. How can you lose? Helen, you mean you have a package somewhere of tonsils set up for you? I said, what did she say? I, didn't go to, I did not go to that hospital. I said, my father, I do not own tonsils. So I have no idea where they came from. Let me give you a testimony. I've never had tonsils again. Amen. So it is you to decide. Well, come on, attack a na mama yako alikuwa na kachukua na which is okay. Me, I, I told you guys, it is up to you as a Christian to collect what you want to collect. Even God is very good. And I to just choose to kuwa tu. Kuna hii barabara na hii barabara. Ukitaka kuchukua u, uchukue. But this is not our portion. This ministry, we are bright ones. What as we? We are not going to collect. Hallelujah. The other day, what as we sana? Today is a day of testimonies, many of them. Pastor Tanu called me. She's been praying. You know, she loves her family. What way to love my wife? Can you pick story? Can you hear? My father is not born again and he's 73. I told her, call him and tell him to get born again. It is not a prayer item anymore. She did not believe me. One as person, you people who could believe you, Pastor. Praise Jesus. Akamu akwenda. Arabasheka. Call him and tell him now. Pastor, I'm a When she was there, she decided to call the father. Aliambe Baba Yake, repeat after me. Baba Yake, Zema Bwana Yesu. Mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Na Baba Yake, Yaka Okoka. What a sweet sana. So now you, you have the power within you. Lakini lazima mwene mkachukue power. Let me tell you what you go to do there. You go there to be equipped to understand scriptures, to study scriptures, to have one-on-one -on -one time with God. There is no power you're going to collect. One as few. You are walking with the power and you're coming back with the power. But you need to be enhanced with your own character. If it is fasting, you need to subject your body to understand. See your last maikule from morning to evening. Hallelujah. So it is just disciplining. So some of these things you have been doing, thinking that inaenda kuchukua power, hakuna power na kujaga nao. Ile tu ulienda nao tanu, diyo lirudi nao hapa. Bwana asifuwe sana. But it is a good time. It is good. And I'm saying, I did not teach that you don't pray. I did not teach that you don't have time with God. No. According to scriptures, even Jesus Christ used to go the whole night to commune with God. So it is also important for us. The power that is assigned to a believer is enough. Uh, Pastor Karu happens to know a lot about electricity. Now, can you hear? Every place is designed for a particular level of power. Ikizidi, do inafanya nini? Inachoma vi? Vitu. Kwa hivyo yu mnataka kuchukua, takuja tu kuachomea vitu. Wala suwe sana. Every conduit, ile ndogo, ni how many millimeters? Inaanza 1.01, sindio? So sasa we uko, God ya mekupatia conduit yako ya 1.0. Lakini the reason tunaenda uko, unajua hata my sister walienda kwa TB Joshua. Bwana siwe sana. Bwana siwe sana. Na alirudi tu vile vile. Hata ange, ange nipatia tu hiyo pesa. Bwana siwe sana. Unajua tu, hatu kwa tuna understand. This is the time we are starting to understand scripture. Sindio? That you don't go to collect any power. The one that God has given you according to your ability. For some he gave how many cities? Five. For some he gave what? So ask the Lord. Am I the one for five? Am I the one for? So that you understand. Hallelujah. So that you don't keep asking for things that God is asking. What are you asking and you already have it? The reason God gives you power is to use it in the great assignment that he has given you. To use it in the great assignment that he has given you. Mark 16, 15 to 18. The power of God that has been given you, the power of God that has been given you is to enable you work on the assignment God has given you. Mark 16, 15. Do you know what this is? Pasomi. Amujui Mark. Mark imefika chapter ngapi? Mark imefika chapter ngapi? Yula anajua na mnulia sweet. Hallelujah. 
Yaani kuna watu naangalia na mlifanya CR juzi nyinyi mko huko nyuma. Na amujuzi amujibu. Mark iko na how many chapters? 16 is where the commission Jesus Christ gave the commission. And he, then he told them go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. So even preaching good news requires power. Hallelujah. Do not undermine that power is only for miracles. Even preaching you need the power of God. Anyone who believes and is baptized will be saved, but anyone who refuses to believe will be condemned. Continue. These miraculous signs will accompany those who believe. You will do what? Let's read together. They will cast out The power that God has given you helps you to preach the gospel. Let me tell you, saa zingine mnaonaka nikisweta hapa mnafikiria ni ni joto ya hapa. Ni joto ya madhabahu. Bwana asifiwe sana. Hii pahali iko na joto, uliza Diana. Kuna wakati alisimama wakati wa fasa ni vazari. Alisema mate ikamezeka. Akaanza kuona kama ni uhuru pako watu wamejaa. This place kako na joto. Bwana asifiwe sana. So preaching the gospel also requires the power of God. You are supposed to preach the gospel. You are supposed to deliver and cast out demons. You are supposed to speak in new languages, in new tongues. Desire people to speak in these new tongues. You are supposed to perform miracles. Anything you drink even now, if by mistake you have taken the vaccine, don't worry. You are able to consume it yourself. We are you are consumed in my body in the blood of Jesus. Hauta niduru. Bwana asifiwe sana. Yes, start speaking. We we ongea. Amen. Look for 18. What do you do with the power that God has given you? Preach the gospel. Cast out demons in Jesus' name. Place hands on the sick that they will be healed. The Bible says in Luke 4 and 18 The spirit of the Lord is upon me for he has anointed me to do what That is always the first one You need power to preach this gospel Hallelujah to preach to anointed me to bring good news to the poor He has sent me to do what to proclaim that captives will be released that the blind will see and the oppressed will be set free if you have people who are around you and they are oppressed it's because you are not using the power of god bwana asifiwe sana bwana asifiwe sana najua naangalia hiyo clock kumbe ilisimama ama ni macho yangu yoni vizuri bwana asifiwe sana kumbe i can keep you here until one cuz i'm looking I'm looking at the clock and I'm like this clock looks like it's not moving. What power? Ama ni God anataka tuendelee. Bwana asifiwe sana. I think the Lord wants us to continue. Acha basi tuendelee. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to do what? To preach, to deliver from captivity. Ah, uh, thank you to perform miracles and to set the oppressed free. That's what the power of God is supposed to be doing. Supposed to do within you and outside you. Has anointed you to preach the good news, to deliver from captivity. Niliona mtu amesema lakini msirudi Singida. Bwana asifiwe sana. Unless the Lord sends us to Singida, huko aturudi tena. Yes. But if the Lord will bring you people around you who need deliverance, don't be afraid. Bwana asifiwe sana. Yes, I told you that if that demon is going to beat you Gloria and you finally find yourself that you have been shifted to the other side. Ukifika at the pearl gates, just tell Peter, miss you, singi. Because I was doing your assignment. Bwana asifiwe sana. Yes. Don't be afraid. If you meet something that you, if you meet somebody whom you need to deliver, deliver them. Hallelujah. And perform what? Miracles and set the oppressed free. Jesus Christ and his power 
dwells in you. You are not alone. I want to tell you today, you are the vessel God has chosen to carry his power. You are a very important person. God has looked at you and decided to assign you his power. Hallelujah. The Lord has decided to assign his power. 2 Corinthians 4, 7. 7 2 Corinthians 4, 7. I want to thank God for media team. And worship him. May the Lord continue soaring you higher in the name of Jesus Christ. You are also the vessels God has, is using for such a time like this. I'm saying I want to thank the Lord for media team because I start like this. I give them a line of scriptures, but they have to keep gathering where I am going. Hallelujah. The Bible says, We now have this light shining in our hearts, but you ourselves are like fragile clay jars containing this great treasure. This makes it clear that our great power is from God, not from where? So God has chosen you, has chosen you, has chosen you to be the earthen vessel to carry his power. What bigger thing would you want? I told you the highest calling is serving God. And now the Lord is reminding us that he has given you like your fragile clay jars, but you're containing this great treasure. Wacha kujiplaken. Bwana sife sana. Naita waje na sheng. Hope unajua sheng kidogo. You know now I, that is direct translation. Duke ile. Now somebody needs to translate for me. Don't blacken yourself. Usiji dharao. Ah hallelujah. I think the Lord wanted to use me to use Kiswahili. Usiji dharao. You have been chosen to carry this powerful treasure. Hallelujah. You you tell yourself, me. Me. Yeah. Jambie, jambie, jambie. Hey. me, 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 me. Call yourself, say, me, Helen. I, Helen. I have been chosen by God. I am the fragile clay jar that is containing this great treasure that is the power of God. Me. But as for son, do not tell, let anybody tell you anything else. You, when you, when, now last time I told you you are a board member, Cindy. Now this time when you meet them, tell them, me, me, ukinyona ivi. Mimi nakari God, ndani. Sio tu hivi juju. Eh, Sio tu juju. Nda? Ndani. Amen? So you are the one that God has chosen to carry this great treasure. The power is already entrusted you by the Son of God. And it is given to you to do all. To do all. Luke 10, 19. Oh, hallelujah. Behold, I give you. Behold, I give you. To do what? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, why are you being hurt? It's because of not understanding scripture. Of not knowing who you are, what you have what you're supposed to do. Behold, I give you power. Behold, I give you power. Behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the over all the power of the wacha kuambiwa ati shetandi anakufinyile. Kuna kitu kama yu? Now that I know different, najua, I know. Satan has no power over me. I have given myself to God and I have given myself to be the earthen vessel that God is using to, to use, to put his power in me for the things that he has assigned me to do. And here you have, unaambiwa tu shetani ana kufinyilia. Ni kumambia amuka na utoke. Mwana suwe sana. Yes, akija in your surrounding glory. Mwambia, pack your bags, my friend. According to Luke 10, 19. And nothing shall by any means do what? Hurt you. Hallelujah. Nothing but shall any, by any means do what? Hurt you. You will not be hurt. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Philippians 4.13 The power that is within you. Hasha taramazai. I can do what? I can do what? Why aren't you doing? That's the next conversation. Why aren't we doing? We said that we needed to remove a lot of the things we have learned. We have learned so wrongly. That's why we are where we are today. 
I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. 2 Timothy 1, 7. Who knows that one? Don't put it up. Ish. Media wa koharaka. 2 Timothy 1, 7. For you have not dressed. <laughs> Good. Second, we shall be singing these scriptures here in this church, my friend. John 10, 10. Hallelujah. That is the way we shall be learning. These scriptures. Now, says that to cause a power. Now, God, I may to do scriptures. We shall go back to God. To my says that God to make you scriptures. Why isn't this power working? Hallelujah. What is your son? 2 Timothy 1 7. 2 Timothy 1 7. For God has not given us the spirit of fear. timidity or fear. Okay? Remember, even the other one was talking about the spirit of fear. That nothing by, shall by any means hurt you. I want you to move this week in authority and in power. Hallelujah. Over everything that has withstood you all those years, go and tell it, pack your bags and leave my house. We cannot both stay in this environment. Yes, you can't. Choose another home. You can't come here. This place, my friend, is reinforced by the power of God. Hallelujah. Yes, start taking power. Start taking power and use it well. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power. He has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor you're powerful. Even if you don't believe it. You are powerful even if you don't believe it. Eh, eh, eh. Mwambie hivyo. Si ndio? Ana ni you're powerful. Eh? You are powerful. Hallelujah. We are powerful. The power has already been given us. The power has already been given us. Through every, through the power of God that you receive, you receive every necessity. Second Peter 1 3. You know one of the things that I am grateful to God about making me a pastor. Nani kwambia kazi ya pastor ni ngumu. Now I know we are not supposed to, to talk negative. Lakini kazi ni ngumu. But it is because I have gone to find scriptures I never thought were possible. Bwana sifuwe sana. Mini kwa Psalms 23, Psalms 124, Psalms 91. Is. But I tell you when you continue entering in scriptures, you find scriptures and you're like, wow. Was this one still here? Listen to this one. By his divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly by his divine power, everything you need is given you. Everything you need is given you. We have received all of this by coming to know him, the one who called us to himself, by means of his marvelous glory and excellence. By his divine power, everything you need is given you. All things that pertain to life is given to you. Everything you need is given to you. As I close... Ephesians 6.10 Be strong in God and in the power of his might. The power of God is going to uphold you in temptations and in trouble. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord in the power of his might. Everything you need, everything you're going through, just go back and lean on the power of God. Go back and lean on the power of God of God. Go back and lean on the power of go back and lean on the power of because you are not alone. God's power is inside you. 1 John 4, 13 Hallelujah. Today the only prayer we are making is that God reveal yourself to me in your scriptures. Everything that has been revealed to me wrongly, Lord, we are saying remove it. I want to start with you. Hallelujah. I want to manifest. I want to start with you. And God has given us his spirit as proof that we live in him and he in. Yeah, so don't be afraid. I'm not teaching heresy. Jesus lives in you. Jesus lives in you. So when we say the grace of God is in me, it is scriptural. 
Jesus lives in you. Yesu wako ndani yako. Bwana asifiwe sana. Yesu wako wapi? Yes. He says yeah. And God has given us his spirit as proof that we live in him and he in we live in him and he in Hallelujah. We want to thank God for his word today. Shekatara mazai. Just close your eyes and ask the Lord that Lord whatever I need to be taught now I am ready and I am open. Teach me Lord. Teach me Lord. I open my mind to be taught. I open my mind to understand scripture. I open my mind Lord. From now on take me where you want to take me. And Lord help me to use your power in the assignment you have given me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Holy Spirit of the living God. I pray. Lord, I want to walk in you. I want to walk with you. I want to walk with you. Jehovah God, you have said that you live in me. You live in me. I pray there shall be manifestation as I preach the word of God, as I heal the sick, as I deliver the captives. Yes, my Father and my God, as I perform miracles. Holy Spirit of the living God, be with me. And when I'm afraid, Lord, you have said, you have not given me the spirit of fear, but the spirit of power, the spirit of love, sound mind. Holy One of Israel, I thank you. I pray for every need in this ministry. And Lord, from now on, we are not going to walk like people who don't understand but we shall walk understanding that, Lord, it could be a short while when we are going through issues, but you will still come through for us. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, glorious Jehovah. Hallelujah. We honor you, Father. We honor you, Jehovah God. Our children will go to school. Fees will be available. And we shall not be ashamed. We shall not be embarrassed begging. Jehovah God, you'll open the work of our hands for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Glorious Father, we love you and we worship you. In Jesus' name, we pray and give thanks. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let us give a clap offering to Jesus.